Okay, we have Daryl Taylor ready, and he's ready for questions, eager to talk. Who has the first question? Talk about your spring practice and how the teams look so far and what you think the team's main goals are. Uh, our spring practice has been going, uh, it went really well. I think we did, uh, we, pr we improved a lot uh, this spring. And I think the goals were being consistent, the goals were uh, being relentless and, and just making sure that we are, uh, uh, making sure that we know things and we studying film and watching film more and making sure that we are uh, being consistent on, on and off the field. We have a question here, third row on your left. Hey, uh, Daniel was saying earlier that uh, you guys don't really think about last year, you're just mainly focusing on this year. I was wondering um, what, your, what your thoughts about that were. How much of it is just taking what happened last year into this year? How much of that is just what, kind of wiping the slate clean? Yeah, I think it, uh, piggyback on off what he said, I think it is wiping the slate clean. I think it's worrying about what we have to uh, focus on this year so we can be as successful as we want to be and so we can be consistent this year. Right here in the middle on the end. Oh. Hey, Daryl, Tatum Everett out of Fox, Nashville. Coach Pruitt talked about how he's been more focused on building the relationships with you as players this offseason as opposed to last year in his first offseason with you guys. How has your relationship with Coach Pruitt evolved this offseason? I think he's been around us a lot more, and I think he's uh, talked with players individually uh, as we leave. Like, when we leave, we do exit meetings. I think he get with players and get to know them and maybe spend like an hour with them just talking to them about football or whether he's just talking to them about life. And I think we've built a, a better relationship than we had last year. And I think that's been a, a helpful for a lot of our players. Gentlemen on the third row to your right. Hey, Daryl, did you feel like by the last two games, did the rigors of a new coach, new strength and conditioning, a tough schedule, did that kind of take its toll and cause you guys to maybe run out of gas? It seemed like you were playing pretty good football coming out of the bye week, but those last two games, certainly not what you guys wanted. Was that more just the two bad days happened to come at the end, or did you guys feel maybe more emotionally and physically spent because of all that happened the past 12 months? I think that was just us maybe not doing what we were supposed to do, but I, I think just if we just stay the course and we work on the things that we need to work on, uh, we'll be successful through a whole season. Okay, on the right against the wall. Michael Braden from Saturday Down South. Uh, how big of an advantage is it for you and your teammates, you know, going into year two, you've already been in Jeremy Pruitt's system for a year in the strength conditioning staff. Uh, how big of an advantage will that be going into the second year of the program? I think it'll be a big advantage because we have some returning starters that um, know what they're doing, knowing uh, how to do it and know why to do it. So I think that's definitely a big key for us uh, coming back into this season this year. On your right again. You're one of the most productive linebackers in the SEC last season. What are you looking forward to achieving most personally? Um, I'm just looking to be more consistent this year and looking to put my teammates and my team in the best opportunity that we can be in to win. Right here in the middle. Go ahead and just, you can speak up. Sure. Um, Daryl, tell us something. Um, I'm pretty sure y'all already know this, but he's probably one of the countryest guys that I ever met in my life. <laughs> I know he's from Alabama, but he's probably one of the countryest guys that I've ever met in my life. And it's pretty, I think it's pretty funny because when he yells at us, it's like, Coach Pruitt, that's, that's pretty funny what you're saying. <laughs> and how you say it. <laughs> he does not like that. He'll just make you run for it, but it's all good. We all in condition, so. <laughs> back here again on the right. Uh, you passed up an uh, opportunity to go to the NFL. Um, what were some of the biggest reasons you wanted to come back for your senior season? Well, the first reason is because I wanted to come back and get my degree, make sure I graduate and doing those things to help myself to be successful off the field. And I wanted to have um, another shot to play football in college and with my teammates again, just to play at the University of Tennessee to get that one last experience. To your left over here by the cameras. Hey, man, Caleb No, WBLT in Knoxville. Uh, Jeremy Pruitt gets the uh, reputation of being kind of a no-nonsense guy, you know, 
cut straight to it. Is he like that on a personal level with the guys on the team too, or is that more of just what we see from the outside? Yeah, that's definitely more what y'all see from the outside. <laughs> but he's, I think he's, uh, he jokes just like the player does. We were just in a meeting. Um, he was in a meeting with the outside linebackers, and we were just joking about how a guy was in the wrong stance and uh, in a certain defense, and it was pretty funny. We have a good time doing that with him. To your left here on the second row. Uh, Daryl, talk about uh, you learned a lot from Derek Barnett uh, when he was there and, you know, you being a, a senior this year. Talk about uh, what you want to teach some of the younger pass rushers that you learned from Derek that you could teach, uh, teach them. Um, I just want to – the things I learned from Derek was just jumping off the ball and using your strength in the pass rush game. But he was more of a bigger guy, and I like to use my speed. I've gotten bigger, but I like to use my speed. So I just want to – like when I – talk to the young guy, I just tell them to use what works for them, whether it's speed, power, or whatever it is. Use what works for you, and then you perfect that. Back here again to your right. Uh, did you have a relationship with Coach Ansley before he became defensive coordinator, and uh, what was your, just your impression on him just exiting the spring? No, I really didn't have a, a relationship with, before, with him before he came here. I kind of got to know him uh, when he got here, and I think our relationship is pretty good, and I've learned a lot from, from him since he's been here. We have about five more minutes. Is there anything else? He came all this way. <laughs> Over here. Okay, here we go. We had uh, Daniel Batuli in here earlier and asking him about the team, and he said he wanted the guys in the defense to be violent and confident. Uh, do you sense this team needs a mean streak, maybe? I definitely think uh, Batuli was definitely right about that. We can need to be the most violent and most physical team that we can possibly be, and that will help us to cause more turnovers and help our offense to score more touchdowns. Gentlemen here, third row. So, Darrell, what can you and the rest of the Tennessee defense do this season to help the Vols compete and win an SEC championship? I think our defense can be consistent and taking get more takeaways this year so that our, our offense can have as many opportunities as they want to uh, score touchdowns. Go back to the gentleman from Knoxville. Hey, Darrell, obviously, you know, you still got a little ways till fall camp starts and the season starts. Um, but just this event, media days, when you walk through that door and see dozens of cameras and fans and everything, I mean, what's that like for you guys at this point? Wow, it's very exciting just seeing all those cameras and seeing how many people come here to see us, like fans and stuff like that. It's just very exciting just to be a part of this and have the opportunity uh, to be in this building today. Do we have anything else? Thank you very much for your time and good luck this season. Thank you.